Welcome to Art with me, Katie Cordy. This is a simple lesson that focuses on exploring lines and the designs and shapes they can make. There is no right and wrong. I encourage you to experiment and have fun with this. While I am using markers, you can use any type of medium you would like. Feel free to adapt this lesson into something more complex if you want. Choose any word you would like and have fun. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to write our word, whatever our word may be. It could be your name, it could be your cat, it could be your dog, one of your parents, a sibling, or something that you love. Me, I'm going to put art. You can write your words in fancy fonts, do cursive, do bubble letters, your choice. And then you can outline it if you'd so like. And then the idea behind this lesson is to just have fun with lines. Not really focusing on perfection, but rather just exploring what lines can make. For instance, they can make nice thick lines that are slightly curved or thinner ones. They can make broken lines or lines that form a pattern or swirling lines. Or wavy lines or even zigzaggy lines. I'm going to do another zigzag line up here. Oh, it's like a lightning bolt, so I'm going to make it one. By thickening only one side, lines on one side, I can make it look 3D. And then fill it in. Lines can create a sense of movement. most often seen when we draw a sun. It's a very stylized sun. Lines can make arrows, again, giving that sense of direction. Straight lines, however, are very exciting, very energetic, but maybe you want something calmer. Waving lines can often represent water. These are calmer, more fluid, more flowing. While lines can also make up more realistic designs. Like a sailboat.
lines can slowly get thicker or thinner before they just disappear. And two colors together can create patterns. Or multiple lines together, really. Lines can create shapes, like a triangle. And these shapes can become pieces of art, representations of things that actually exist, such as mountains. Or, more familiarly, more familiar, a house. A line can create a simple shape, like a circle, which can become a person. or a ball. Or sun, like the one above. And of course, lines can make things look 3D, even when they're not. It's fun just to experiment with lines and see how they can become something much more. <laughs>